bless the Lord. Go ahead and stand with me and grab your Bible and take out faith and confession if you want to go ahead and get into this word. Amen. Grab your Bible and repeat after me. Everybody stand in. Everybody that's able to stand in, stand with us. Just repeat after me. This is my Bible. I am who it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Because I'm a believer. And not a doubt. I am a doer. And not just a hero. And my life is the better. After having heard the word of faith. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We're going to take an expository approach this afternoon. The Word of God is already a reverence. You won't have to stand with me because I'm going to take a different approach here. I'll read a little bit and expound on it and read on a little further. It's going to be all right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now. We thank you for this opportunity to share your Word with you. Today. We thank you, dear God, and we realize and understand that your Word is already blessed. So we ask right now that you would cause this Word to permeate the hearts of every listener. That we won't want to be hearers, dear God. But we'll take the substance of the word back to our lives and live thereby and watch you bless us like never before. We ask these and other blessings in Jesus' name. Thanksgiving. Amen. 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 If you would go into Hebrews, the fourth chapter, and I'm going to read the first three verses. Hebrews. The fourth chapter, verses 1 through 3, and it reads thusly. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. I simply want to talk today uh, from the subject of the thought, my faith is important. My faith is important. Now, I, I must let you know that I'm a, I'm a teacher preacher. I didn't, I, I never come to who and how. And I, I grew up with that and, and I, I didn't see where that profited me anything at all. But at the end of the day, understanding of the word of God is what's going to cause the people of God to be blessed. So, so we ask that God will allow us to make the word of God uh, clear and plain that even the least in the room will be able to understand what's been said. The word preached did not profit them, uh, not because it wasn't preached, but because they didn't mix it with faith. Now the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. The Bible also says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. Listen, if we didn't go any fun, if I just worked just on that right there in this room today, until we got just that part, lives would be turned around immediately, and I'm talking about blessings would begin to come from the north, south, east, and west, if we just got just that part right. He said, he, he said that they weren't blessed because they didn't get the word. They were not blessed because the word that they did get, they didn't apply faith to. You got to walk by faith. You got to apply faith to the word of God to receive that word. Amen. You got to apply. Whatever you believe is what you will become. So if you believe that you will never have anything, you will always be broke. If you, if you believe that you'll always be sick, you will always be sick because you, you become what you believe. So what I do at age 56, and I just didn't start doing that, but I choose to believe what the Word of God says. Amen. So I'll, I'll say what the Word of God says. Now, you know, 
people mix all kinds of stuff, you know, they, they people mix uh, stuff all the time, you know, but, but when you mix the wrong stuff together, then you got to be prepared to deal with yeah. the outcome. Yeah. I, I, I don't cook. Honey, 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 honey been cooking for us ever since we've been married. I can't cook. I don't, I've never even really tried. But uh, one time I decided that I was going to make some homemade biscuits. Yeah. Uh, see, I saw mother make those biscuits and it looked like, you know, she just put the stuff in there and they made it just come out perfect. And yeah. And just, you get that, you get that burr rabbit and syrup, and you can she, she just make them where you can just lick your finger behind the biscuit yeah, you got. Yeah. So I decided I was gonna try. So I was putting in what I thought I remember hearing her, I mean seeing her put it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever I did, I mixed my stuff together, and while I was tumbling in it, and you know, and breaking it, and shaving it, and it, it, it looked all right. <laughs> but then I noticed that when I put mine in the oven. See, I, I, well, first of all, I noticed mothers, it would take, man, I don't know, 10 minutes or so for her biscuits to get rise and get brown and, you know. Yeah, yeah. But mine, I, I noticed, you know, you got this oven and you got the glass on the front where you see through it. Yeah. And I noticed that mine had already preheated my oven. And I noticed that mine had risen after about two minutes. Yeah. And I risen and brown. Uh -huh. So I said, man, you know what, I'm going to be able to teach mother a few things because she had never been able to get birth. house and, 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 and they were in the living room and they were talking to a, a group of together, preachers together and uh, and this one guy would say, well, I'm, I'm almost, you know, 68 now so I'm, I'm getting ready to die, you know, I'm going to be getting ready to die around 68 and the reason why I'm saying that is because my granddaddy died at 68, my daddy died at 68 and so I know I'm going to be getting ready to die at 68 and so it was this one lady back in the back room back there, she was a prayer woman and uh, she heard it. So she eased up in the front room where they were, and she said, now, tell me that again. She said, well, he said, well, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just getting ready to die because my granddaddy died at 68, my dad died at 68, and I'm almost 68, so I'm getting ready to die. And she, she said, well, tell me, tell me the truth about that thing. And he said, well, I'm telling you the truth. My dad died, my granddaddy died at 68, my dad died at 68, so I know I'm getting ready to die because I'm almost 68. She said, look, I want you to tell me what the word said. So this is what the word said. The word says, with long life shall I satisfy you. See, it's the stuff you mix, man. If, see, if you don't know what to say or what not to say, you got to deal with the consequences. You can't, look, as a, as a born again believer, you can't just be around saying anything. We, as believers, we got to stick with what the word says. I, I, my, my mom, my mom passed uh, in May of this year, but we would go to the house Sunday. My dad, he just had a birthday. He was 81 as of the other day. And we go to the house, and now dad now is in this state where he forgets a lot, right? He forgets a lot. So we go to the house, and mother would say, uh, dad's, uh, dad's developing Alzheimer's. Dad has Alzheimer's. You know, he's in, and, and every time he go, because my wife and I, you know, we in ministry, and we teach faith. We teach. I said we teach. We don't holler. We teach faith. And so, and so we're teaching. And so we know that, that whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so we know what to say and what not to say. Yeah. So mother would say that. And finally one Sunday I stopped by and I said, Mother, I said, Mother, don't say that. Because let me tell you why I, I, I really don't want you to say that. Because the God that we serve is a faithful God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. so faithful yeah. that if you don't know what to say, he's going to remain faithful and make sure you have what you don't know to say. Yeah. So as long as you say, as long as you say that, To, to, to get up. 
satisfy you. Yeah. Amen. If you believe that, that's exactly what you look back. Look, I brought what I care about, some, about somebody not believing my faith in your life. Yeah. That woman right there, Deborah and I have agreed. We've asked the Lord for 120 years to get. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've asked the Lord to allow us to be married 120 years. That means that, that, means that we'll be 150 something.
got to go to a word church to get the root, you got to the root of the word. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't stay in the traditional stuff now. You got to go into the word church. And you can, you know, Sarah called Abraham Lord. She ain't, she wasn't trying to put him up there next to God. But she referenced the man of God because she knew that God made him in his image out in his likeness. Yeah. 
hate on you? Right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. who, who is this lady uh, that go to this church got that brand new white Mercedes? Oh. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And wherever you sit down, you 
Oh, get out of here now. But look, look, I'll drive, I'll drive, I'll, look, I'll, I'll drive right past Mercedes and uh, got a little age on it now, but, but listen, uh, when, I, when I got ready to get that car, I saw that car and I, and I told my boss, you know what? I want to get me a Mercedes. I want to be white. Yeah. And so, honey and I left church one Sunday. We went to the Mercedes place. I let, I let her stand up beside that car. I started standing up. <laughs> <laughs> she was standing up beside her. So I picture. We got the old picture. And we took them home. Come on now. And we put them on the refrigerator. Yeah. Right. yeah. Why the refrigerator, Gracie? Because you're going to stay hungry. Yeah. You're going to stay hungry and you're going to stay thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. And when you go to the refrigerator, you can't have to see that Mercedes. Yeah. And so every time I went to that refrigerator, I said, like, oh, Lord, I saw you. Thank you for See, the church has been saying, 
Please don't pass me by. I will sing that mess. <laughs> Listen, that never has been anything too 
get the 20. You won't get a dime. Because see, you're not in faith. Yeah. So the devil got you. So if you were bleeding from 50 last week and that 50 didn't come through, well, now I'm like, you know, I think I need 80. See, always go up. You got to get crazy, baby. You got to get crazy. Yeah. You got to get crazy in faith. You got to get crazy. Yeah. 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 If you ever do that right there, baby, I'm through, man. I'm through. Come on, Dan. Give me some music. Give me a little song. I'm through. Man, look. I Look at somebody tell them my faith is important. My faith is important. Faith is important. Amen. Faith is important. But watch now, we're in transition. We've been we've been passing in, in Brookhaven just some, just some song music to play some for But we've been passing there 15 years. And now we're in transition. So we got all the properties that for sale. We're moving this way, coming home. But you know, I'm looking forward to it now. Uh, before the recession, and brother, know that. Man, business was good. And, and, and Honey and I, we, we bought several vehicles for members in the congregation. Yeah, yeah. The Lord was blessing us. We were doing very well. And so, see, I've never been that preacher to say, you take care of me and you make it the best way you can. I never, never, I never will be that way. But the Lord was blessing our business. And it felt so good to be blessed and able to go wherever you wanted to go and have all your needs met. And for me to look at you and know you sit here in my congregation and you're going through something. We started talking to the Lord about you. It wouldn't be long. We wouldn't even say that to you. But we come up to you just out of the blue. This is what the Lord said for us to do. And then we went and bought several cars. So we bought, we go and buy a vehicle and we take that thing. It's nice. I ain't never buy nothing ugly. That's right. Always not. Always and we took that thing, go buy a nice one, take it and have it service and have it detailed, and we parked that thing for two weeks. And see, in our church, we was teaching faith. Amen. We drilled. Because we understand how important it is. If you look, see, if you don't have faith enough to do what I instructed you to do, baby, your life's gonna stay hard. Because you can't make it, you can't, you can't make it good in the earth without no faith. But we were studying and instructing our congregation. And so, and so, uh, at the end of that two-week period, when well, we popped it off two weeks, and then I come to her and I say, who did the Lord lay on your heart? And she tell me, and vehicle, every vehicle that we gave away, when I come to her at the end of that two-week period and say, who did the Lord lay on your heart? It was the same person he had laid on my heart. So did that. We go to church the next Sunday, and we say, listen, Next Sunday, we're going to bless somebody with a vehicle. So you might want to be here because it might be very, very well could be you. Okay. And so just to be able to see a smile on their faces, right. Lord bless us. And we will bless them. Never let the brag on every night I work for myself. I've been for myself for the last 36 years. I do home improvement and stuff. The recession came in, no seller, knocked my socks off. Whole lifestyle change. Wasn't able to buy no more car for nobody. That hurt real bad. But guess what? We stayed in faith. And I heard just the other day in my spirit. If you thought what you was able to do the last time was something, you went to this next door right here. Amen. 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 Because you see, listen, I believe that. I believe that the people that God instructed us to sow into, to, to give cars to, were people that were walking that faith thing out that we was teaching. You got it? So all I'm saying is this right here. You don't know who God got to bless you. You don't know who might show up with your blessing. Yeah. So man, from this day forward, look, just leave me with your mind made up, Lord. I'm not trying to figure nothing else out. I'm just going to trust you by faith. And Lord, when I ask you for something that looks like it's not going to show up, I'm going to keep a good attitude. Who dressed? He said, I'm the dress. 
stress. But see now, look, he's gonna always stay clean. But like I said, you don't know where your blessings gonna come from. Get in faith. Stay in faith. All oh, it's about, all eyes closed. It's about um, now. I need to make sure that this word right here was for everybody in this room. And the way that I can be sure about that, while all heads about, all eyes are closed, I'm not going to embarrass anybody. But if you're not saved, if you're here, you're not saved. You've not made Jesus the Lord of your life. While all heads about, all eyes are closed, if you just slip your hands up, I'll see you. And I just want to pray for you. Yeah. If you're here, if you're here, you're not saved. Just slip your hands up, I'll see you. I'd like to lead you through, uh, to, the, to the throne of grace. Amen. Amen. That, that you will you will make sure that everybody in here is in the family. Amen. Amen. So we're good. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much now. Thank you for this time of fellowship. We thank you for the word. We ask right now that you would bless us as only you can, dear God. We take this word now. We hide it in our heart, dear God, that we may not sin against you. We're looking for some bright days ahead. Because of what we've received on today. I ask right now, dear God, as we leave this place, as you when it's time to go, dear God, we ask that you would just dispatch your angels, take control of the steering wheel, and we'll all reach our destination safe and find our loved ones in position. We'll end in order. In Jesus' name, amen.